guys, what's going on? This is Preston for the Computer TV Network. Um, today, you know, I haven't been doing these videos for a little while. I'm going to make a comeback here and uh, get some video tutorials up. And right now, I want to make sure that um, I help you guys a little bit on FTPing. FTPing is something that you're going to come across a lot. If, um, if you buy some web space, you know, FTPing is the fastest way to get multiple um, files up at one time. So if you have like 50, uh, 50 images and you want to upload them to an FTP server that you own, um, you know, you'll just throw it in there and they'll upload all by themselves rather than having to upload one by one, which some of the applications will make you do. But, you know, owning a website and doing that, it's all going to come down to um, FTPing, even Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver, uh, when you upload your website, it does do FTP accounts. So I'll even show you how to set up your own FTP account if you own a website. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. Alright guys, first off, let's go ahead and get into creating an FTP account. It's real simple and easy, but let's just go ahead and go over it anyways. If you are the master uh, owner, master or owner of the website, then you'll already have an FTP account that's pre-made with your username that you log into your account with. Now in this case, it may depend on which company that you buy uh, your service from. I chose startlogic.com in this case, and my website is hdhitman.com. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now the FTP directory is a forward slash. A forward slash means you can access the root, all directories, all the folders, all the files. Now if we look down here at the additional FTP accounts that have been added, you can see Albert's FTP account. Now, it's the forward slash Albert means Albert can only access the Albert folder that I have in my root directory. So, that's the only thing that he'll be able to access to the FTP. Now, let's go ahead and come down here and create an FTP account. In this case, we'll put... Um, Comp USA 2009 will be the username. Then we'll go ahead and we'll type in just a random password. And I will because I'm not going to give you guys uh, access to my um, FTP. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. And then uh, we'll also give this one only access to the Albert uh, folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Create FTP user. Okay. It was successfully created. Now, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is show you guys how to log on and access the FTP through this account. All right, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and log in. So this is Flash FXP. I'll give a link in the right sidebar for you guys to download this. Now, what this is is it's going to let you access the files and download multiple and upload multiple files at one time through the FTP server. So let's go ahead and teach you guys how to connect. So what we're going to want to do is click this little uh, lightning bolt here and hit quick connect or you can also go ahead and just click F8 now this will pop up now the server URL is going to be hdhitman dot at, um, dot start logic dot com and now the username is going to be comp USA 2009 now the password is going to be the password that you set and uh, we'll go ahead and type that in right there. Now, the port is most likely always going to be 21 for FTP ports. You don't have to click anonymous. Leave that unchecked. Proxy server default and remote path blank. And go ahead and hit connect. And you can see over to the right, it'll start trying to log in. And uh, you have to give it a moment sometimes because this is a new uh, username right here. There we go. Now we're completely logged in. Now you can see this directory, and you can see if you try to get out of this directory, you can't get out. But uh, we'll also show you, you know, you can pull over files and upload real fast. See, there we go. Now that is uploaded on my server. Now if I was to go to hdhitman.com slash albert slash contact.jpg you would be able to see this file and this is this is just simple and uh, as you can see right here let me go ahead and select multiple files at one time and then you'll see the pending list pop up on um, let's go ahead and upload just this folder right here see I've got multiple files in here and you'll see as it goes through real fast uploading multiple files at one time this is going to come in handy a lot when building a website because you are going to need to upload multiple files. Now let's go ahead and explain how to use Dreamweaver with the right, FTP now, um, account. We're going to show you guys how to access your FTP account through Dreamweaver and upload full websites 
to um to the internet. Now let's go ahead and start off by setting up your site. Now we're gonna want to click new site so that way we can set up all the information that we're gonna need. Now go ahead and select the name of your site. Um, in this case, I'm going to use just a random name and a random FTP. I'm not actually going to FTP. I'm just going to show you how to get all the way there to set it up. Now let's go ahead and select what's your website name going to be. We'll select CompUSA 2009. Now what's the HTTP address, which is the URL of your website. And in this case, um, mine would be hdhitman.startlogic. Dot com. You're not going to want to use the domain name that you bought, otherwise it's not going to be able to correctly access your website. You're going to want to give the, the straight name uh, that came directly from the website that you bought it off of. They're gonna, you're going to want to hit next. No, I do not want to use server technology. Now you can click edit local copies on my machine, then upload to the server when ready, which would be the best thing to do. Uh, rather than actually being connected and editing the files, it's going to be a lot better so you can work on the road, offline, wherever you want to do it, save it, and then when you get home, just by the click of a button, upload all the files. Now we'll go ahead and click Next. Now, how do you want to do this? It'll give you the option of FTP, Local Network, Web DAV, RDS, Microsoft Visual uh, Source Save. We're going to choose FTP. Now it's going to bring up the same information like Flash FXP did. Now what's the host name or FTP address of your server? Uh, it'll show on your FTP account uh, the same thing as hdhitman.startlogic.com then what folder do you want the servers to, the files to go in? I would advise you to hit slash public underscore HTML because that is the usual uh, folder that all your information is going to go into uh, for your website rather than having to move it over and what is your FTP login this is going to be your master login so for mine it's going to be HD Hitman and then the password is going to be whatever your password is just like that and then you're going to hit test connection and uh, make sure it connects correctly and then keep hitting next and go on now once you do that that's going to be set up you can edit and um, edit your profile and after you edit your profile like I'll say test you're going to want to hit file you're going to want to go down to save to remote server once you hit that that's going to bring up a bunch of uh, your things and we're going to hit like CompUSA 2009 because I didn't set it up correctly it's not going to get to it but this is exactly how you do it it would upload all the files to the directories the image folders all your coding for your spries and um, everything so on from there and you'll be completely set up on that part and that's how you upload your websites directly from Dreamweaver through FTP